Time now for Better Pets. Dr. Andrea Dennis, our better vet, is here now from the Bloomfield Animal Hospital to talk about caring for your cat. And Dr. Dennis brought some friends with her. This is <laughs> Cheryl Rice and her cat. And I just want you to welcome, <laughs> ladies. I want you to Thank notice you. Cheryl's uh, really, uh, and actually not Cheryl's, I should say Trixie's really cute <laughs> nails. Yeah, I'm not as good as Trixie. Aww. Look at her pink nails. If we could lift up her paw just a little bit so they can see with the camera. There's there's, there's a pink nail right yeah. there. Isn't that so yeah, pretty? She has, our little Trixie um, has had this little special manicure for, for most of her life. Oh, yeah. um, Cheryl um, has been one of the um, most impressive clients that I have in terms of doing this on a regular basis. And we all know that cats, we always worry, but we don't want to get a cat because we're worried they're going to scratch the furniture, they're going to scratch your children, or if you have an elderly person that's living in the home, mm -hmm. then sometimes you, you worry about them having like little um, cat scratch fever, all those other diseases. So this is a really, really nice option. Uh, isn't she adorable with that face? She, she is so adorable. So, so we, and Cheryl, I think you've been doing it since the, she was very young. Oh yeah, I started when she was a kitten um, and this is the fourth cat that I've had that I've used these little claw covers on right. and they they take to it very quickly right and yeah. so I'm sorry I was just gonna say so that must be important to start when they're kittens and then yes. they're used to it right that does help I does did it? have the first cat that I did it with uh, was already grown oh. when I when oh. I started but but he you know he he, took it, he figured it out but oh. definitely once you put them on when they're a kitten they don't even so they don't even have right. to change. And right. now, I guess they come in different colors, and do you have to change them? It's like a little manicure once in a while? Yes, <laughs> it is. They tend to grow out, you know, just like our nails. There tends to be like a, a superficial sheath on the nail, okay. and you find them around the house if you have cats, like they're sort of in your furniture and things like that. So as her nail grows out and that sheath it, it removes itself from the nail, then that whole nail cover comes off, and you have to do it again. How often would you say you have to do that? Um, you know, it really varies with how active your cat is, but um, mm. I find that a, a box of 40 lasts about six months. You know, you do all 10 nails, and then they just, as they come off, you just replace right. them. Oh, okay. So we do have a, a little video that shows how easy this okay. is done. Of course, videos and surgery books, they always make it look <laughs> easy. But first, <laughs> the first thing, and I'll let, we'll just sort of talk over that a little bit. Mm. The first thing is that you do have to clip the nail, and I'm going to show you in a little bit. And you don't have to clip a lot. It's just get that sharp tip off. Okay. And then because you're doing that, then the next thing is get that glue. Now, we all know about fake nails and where the glue comes in. So the glue is being applied right inside that cap. The cap happens to be clear in the video. Um, and then you just slip it on. And once you slip hmm. it on, it's, it's... Oh, so they have clear ones, too. Yes. If you don't... I always think Trixie looks like such I a think princess it's adorable. with the pink. <laughs> I do, too. Yeah, but you see how... Now, that's showing you how it's completely covered so that when they do scratch on the furniture, they're not going to damage the furniture or against a human that's living in the home that could potentially get hurt by a cat. It, does it, I imagine if I tried to do this to my cat, he would like be frustrated and trying to chew them off. Do, are, they, are they okay with it? Do they, do they feel it? Most of them just handle it very well. Yeah, you know, of the four cats that I've had, only one really was, you know, not too crazy about the process of putting on. The others, you know, seem to just take it as attention. You know, you pet their paws and, and you know, you, but you do have to take your time, especially um, when you first start because they mm. don't know what's going on. You right. might have to kind of, you know, hold them a little firmly. But I mean, if they if they start to freak out and, and meow and stuff, you know, let them go. You don't right. want to overstress. But, but right. once but, they're on, do they bother them? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Good. They don't even notice that it's... Uh, you know that they're there um, and if you notice too they're on just on the front paws so that's you still wanted to do some um, nail manicure um, maintenance uh, on the rear paws can I show you how yes, what we want to yes, do that please do so first thing that we want to do and I'll take this toe I think this will work but so you, you just put a little pressure right here very gently and see how that exposes the nail very easily yeah and then what I do is just take the little bit of the tip right off like that I heard a little growl, <laughs> so that's telling me we're done. But again, she's very nervous. But you also want to so do that highlight. She's also sitting here under lights and yeah, cameras, so she's pretty good. <laughs> she is. She's, she's good warm. Girl. I'm warm. Um, but that's really the, very, very important. Even if you don't use the soft paws, you do want to trim their nails on a regular basis. And if you can do that when that kittens, that's very helpful. Now I actually do trim my cat's nails, but I've only just used like human toenail clippers. Mm -hmm. These are special things that are better. And what do they call them? Where do you get well, these? You, those are just hmm. really, they call them cat nail yeah. clippers. That's exactly oh. what they are. Oh. And you can see it's very, you see the thing, I used to use nail clippers too. Yeah. And it, it actually, if, you, if you're not, if, 
you're not accurate with it, it's kind of um, fractures the nail. Do you ever see that? Yeah, yeah, it comes yeah, out yeah. Like this. This, if you see, it's just nice and clear. It looks nice like sharp. it grabs it nicely with that it tip. It does, right. and you can yeah. see what you're doing. A lot of times with nail clippers, you can't see because it's important not to cut the blood supply. All yes, right, so that's very to, important. It's like right around where that curve is. That, right, exactly. Okay. The other thing that I want to talk so um, about what we want to do on a regular basis is actually combing cats. We know about hairballs, yeah. and we know mm -hmm. what, how problematic it is. It is so much better for them if you can comb. Even some cats like to be combed every day. Even short hair cats. Even mm -hmm. short hair. And I don't like the brushes. I really like to have a, a comb like this. It's a good tip. Yeah, I think because you want to get really right down into that thick fur. Brushes just tend to do the superficial part of the of the cat. And if you can just sort of, Cheryl's already covered with hair. <laughs> now Cheryl looked great when she got here, got here this morning. <laughs> but the thing is that when you're nervous, when a cat cat is nervous, there's little tiny muscles around each hair follicle, so you can tell, even though she's being nice and calm, she's, a little, she's nervous, that's why mm -hmm. all this fur is being released. But if you can reduce the amount of fur, that's, and if she wants to get in her carrier, yeah. she can. She's doing good. Okay, but that, that will reduce the amount of hair for hairballs. But still, if we, and then I love the laxatone too. And, and we're pretty much out of okay. time, but you've got, uh, you want us to brush their teeth too. Yes. Um, I'm going to just hold this here for you, Rich. <laughs> um, the, see how nice and tiny that little toothbrush is? It fits in your finger. You don't want to go with a big child toothbrush, but this is very nice, and you want to just concentrate on that con uh, the um, canines in particular. Okay. And you can do that once a week too. So thank good you guys. Ooh, thank you. All right. Great Thanks, Trixie. Yeah. <laughs> she so was great. Good. She was really good. Oh, so great. Well, as a reminder, Dr. Dennis is the owner of the Bloomfield Animal Hospital located right on Old Windsor Road in Bloomfield. On alternating Saturday afternoons from 2 to 3, she's taking listener questions during Pet Talk on WTIC 1080 Radio. So tune in for that if you can.